Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to control your PC from a mobile device, whether it be an iPhone or an Android device. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up our web browser and we're going to download something called TeamView. So at the top here, we're going to type in TeamViewer and some links should pop up. So the first one here is this one right here, download TeamViewer now and we're going to download that. So we're going to go ahead and click on download team viewer and that is going to download it to your PC and you're just going to go ahead and click on save. And once it's done, you're going to open it up. So I'm just going to open up the folder here once that's finished. So I'm going to click on the folder here and then double click on it. So it's going to prompt you with a UAC access thing and you're just going to um, go ahead and click yes if it does. So you're just going to do a basic installation here and you're going to click on personal and non-commercial use and accept and finish. And you're just going to click on yes again for the UAC. I'm just going to click on close over here. Once that's done, you're going to have a ID right here and you're going to have a password. So you're going to need to remember that. I'm most probably going to blur mine out so that nobody has access to my computer. But um, you're going to need to either write those down or just keep that, keep this uh, picture up there. So now we're going to go ahead and download TeamViewer on our iPhone or Android device in order to access it so that we can control our computer from our iPhone or Android. So let's go ahead and download that on our mobile device. And I'm going to be back in just a second. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and go into the App Store. Okay, so in the App Store, you're going to go ahead and search for TeamViewer. So we're going to type that in and because I already have it downloaded, I'm just going to click on open, but you're basically going to click on download. You're going to click on that download button and you're going to download it to your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And now what you're basically going to do is you're going to type in the, the ID and then the password. So if you guys remember what I said before, you're going to have to remember the ID on your computer and you're going to type that in, which is a nine digit number. So you're going to type that in. I'm going to go ahead and type mine in and then I'm going to go ahead and type my password in. So after I've typed in my ID, it's going to ask me for a password and the password is usually uh, four digits. It's just the one underneath where it says your ID on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in as well. Okay, so I went ahead and typed in my password and as you can see, it shows me of it shows me all these on screen, um, I guess, uh, what do you call them? We'll call them on screen finger controls. Um, okay, so it shows me a bunch of them. I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue and then I'm going to put my phone in landscape mode because I am using one on I am using a bigger screen. Okay, so now my phone is in landscape mode and there you see the cursor and I'm just going to show you guys if I go ahead and click on the start button and uh, there are all the options there and it is controlling. Look at that. There's my PC right there and it's controlling everything and I can move around because I am on the Wi-Fi connection so I can essentially be downstairs and, and uh, I can be controlling my PC from anywhere in my house as long as I'm connected to the Wi-Fi or an internet connection. So as long as I'm connected to the Wi-Fi or an internet connection, I can essentially control my computer from anywhere that I am. So that is pretty much it guys. I mean, there are some certain other things that you can do. You can zoom in, zoom out by just pinching into the screen. So if you wanted to look at pictures, photos, videos, whatever. Uh, videos I wouldn't recommend just because it is a little bit on the slower, laggier side. And if you did want to stream videos from your PC to your iPhone, I do have a tutorial on that. So definitely check that out. Also guys, I will have some more videos, some reviews on earphones. I do have a review coming up of the Fa'il earphones, which I did an unboxing previously. So if you guys did want to check that out, then um, stay tuned for that. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And if you did find this video helpful or you did like this video, then do hit that like button because it does help me out. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.